Does Qatar's role in the Israeli-Hamas conflict extend beyond playing a mediator? Now, there is information that has come to light from leaked documents of funds allegedly transferred from Doha to the Israeli Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu. The details of the documents were released by the Middle East Media Research Institute. They were leaked as part of the Raven Project. Now, these documents include a 2012 classified letter from the then Qatari Prime Minister, the Foreign Minister, Sheikh Hamad bin Jassim Al Thani, to the Economy and the Finance Minister, Yusuf Hussein Kamal. Now, in this letter, Sheikh Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani, the former Khatri Emir, authorized $50 million of grant to the Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu. And there is confirmation by the former finance minister that the money was actually transferred in cash by Qatar's state security service as a previous attempt to transfer the funds formally had failed. Now, according to the Reuters, these documents are part of a leak by the former NSA agents who were working for the United Arab Emirates. The additional Jordanian documents, which Memory plans to publish pretty soon, is said that it indicates that the HSBC Bank in Amman had rejected the transfer over concerns of financing suspicious organizations. Including Hamas in collaboration with Netanyahu, the first round of these documents published by the Institute in December had included correspondence between the years 2012 and 2018 between high-ranking Khatri officials. They have confirmed the transfer of millions of dollars by Qatar to the Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu and also to a former Israeli Finance Minister, Avigdor Lieberman, for their electoral campaigns. In fact, the Middle East Media Research Institute's founder, Yigal Karman, had criticized Israel's policy towards Qatar, describing it as dangerously lenient. It pointed out that Qatar has extensive financial and political reach worldwide, posing a significant threat to Israel, Carmen had also questioned the Israeli Prime Minister's decision to transfer funds to Qatar, suggesting that the motive behind this policy remains simply unclear, but it could be tied to political maneuvering or to its misguided attempts to influence Hamas. He has in fact called for further criminal investigations into the alleged personal financial transfers that were made from Qatar to Netanyahu, drawing parallels with other high-profile cases of Qatari bribery such as the Qatar Gate that involved the likes of Eva Kaili. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.